Hi Leos, welcome to my channel. Welcome to my channel. I always want to be extra when it comes to Leo because we know we want to be extra Leo. Make that statement, go inside that office and shebang, make that entrance. <laughs> Good morning Leos, this is going to be your 7 day prediction, July 1 to 7. Okay, so it comes when it comes Leo, okay? Dailies are going to be on hold for a while until I finish the week please. Alright, so let's see what's going on for my Leos. Mm. Mm. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Now, Leos. I saw something before I when I sip my coffee. Okay. For some Leos, you really met the one. I'm not sure. I don't know why. I don't know how. Okay. But there was something that would resonate about here about number seven, letter T. Okay. I hope it's not Mr. T. <laughs> Just kidding. Or you guys probably drink tea together. A lot of seven I'm seeing here. A lot of seven. A lot of oh or whatever. Something is going to be unlocked soon between you and this person, Leo. It's going to be unlocked. You have to turn left and then it will unlock. You have to you have to make something about a left. Okay. I don't know what that means, okay? All right. So anyhow, Leo, let's see what's going on for your weeklies. You guys like it when I have that intuitive thing, huh? <laughs> Cuz I'm at I'm at the on I want to call it. I'm at my How do you call that? I'm going to remember that name. Um, oh, the Leo card was there. Hold on, I'm going to figure out the name. I'm at my obelisk, basically. If it's Lord of the Rings, I'm at the tip of the tower right now. So I can see everybody. <laughs> Not that I am Sauron. Okay, <laughs> now let's see what's going on. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Let's begin. Ace of Pentacles. The opportunity. Engagement. This is the one... See, told you someone resonates with the number one. Okay. Now, you're lucky this is not right or wait because or else this offer is going to be very heavy. Okay. <laughs> this offer, Leo, or you are going to be offering or you meeting this person is just amazeballs. Okay. It's a pentacles. They can be grounded. They can be practical. They can be very serious. That's, oh, really? This is what I'm feeling here with this energy here. Oh. Uh, and probably they saw a B recently, or you saw a B recently, and that's an indication that you're the one, or that person met the one. All right, whatever, let's move on. <laughs> this person has an energy where they create, okay? And right now, Moon is in, um, uh, Moon is, uh, sorry, I'm just looking at the chart over here. Moon is in, Moon is still in Scorpio in, uh, in Anud Anuradra, okay, right now, in Vedic. I'm not sure, maybe you guys are really uh, connecting to someone who is a Scorpio Leo. Okay, I was just looking at the charts over here. It's not the billboard charts. <laughs> Let me see here. Five of Pentacles. Oh, wow. You guys are not talking. You met this person. You guys are now separated. You guys don't even have anything romantic with each other going. Fifth house for me is this one, okay? Don't identify the fifth house in this channel because I can identify each house and you wouldn't even know. Same thing as I can see why you're not taking a bath, okay? <laughs> Five of Pentacles, okay? You guys are not, not there. Someone is asking for something here. Can you give me that offer? Can you give me that opportunity? Can you give me that opportunity? This with other person. Someone holds the opportunity. The other person is the beggar. Before you go to the Six of Pentacles, which is a beggar. This is the beggar. Someone is asking. Underneath the Ace of Pentacles is a Queen of Cups. Told you. Can be a Scorpio. This is, but this is a Cancerian card if I'm, if I'm not mistaken also. It's a Cancerian card. Still it's a Cancerian. It hasn't shifted. Someone was engaged before. Oh, okay. Or married. Mm-hmm. A water sign married, a water sign engaged before. I feel before. They're not current married. They're not currently engaged. But this is also the engagement card. So they want to engage. They want to take you out for a dinner. Or you want to take them out for, for, for some reason. You guys want to take them out. What does that mean? I hope it's not like not John Wicker. I want to take you out. Something like that. It's more of like I want to date you. Okay. Let's see here. I have my puppies by the way, Leo. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, okay. Here we go. Alrighty, underneath the Five of Pentacles, Ten of Wands. The more that it's crickets in your fifth house, if you're this or the other person, they feel that they just gotta do what they have to do. Work, 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 work. 
work, 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 work. That's a ten of wands. A lot of responsibility that you could have if you're the one feeling left out in the cold where, you know, it's like, it's been a dry spell, Sal. It's been a dry spell, okay? Then you feel like, ah, oh, this is so much burden. A lot of tension also here. Ten of wands. Tension meaning it's like, um, your energy is like, oh my god, I need some action. I need some action. That's a ten of wands energy. Underneath the, the queen of cups, a three of pentacles. Okay, so if you're connecting with a water sign, this person is creating business. This person is creating different careers. This person has different jobs, you know. But if you have water also in your chart, if you're a Cancer Leo cuss, you will have a lot of job. Okay, and this is like from one thing to another, from one thing to another. That's my Three of Pentacles energy. Okay, it's not about building relationship. It's building a foundation of, of a career, building a foundation of something creative. Okay, someone here also could have, yeah, I know what that means, could have visited the church recently. Okay, underneath the Ten of Wands, ah, really? Mm-hmm, okay. Underneath the Ten of Wands, the Moon card. The Moon is in Scorpio, like what I mentioned. Okay, guys, easy on the Western astrology, okay? Vedic, sidereal, we don't have to go to Western when the channel is Vedic oriented. Okay. <laughs> I love my Western astrologers, trust me. All gurus I love, but my guru inside me is Vedic. So it's really the guru inside me is talking about it. Okay. So respect the guru inside me. Not me though. Totally, Sal is not to be respected. The, the guru, the guru. <laughs> Okay. Sal is just another human being who is just looking gorgeous, just like a Leo. <laughs> the moon card over here is indicating of an energy that might happen soon. I believe there's something um, energetically coming to your way, okay? When the moon steps to another um, zodiac or another sign, okay? You can be connecting with a Piscean who feels very much burden, who feels like they always, they're always oppressed by you. If you're connecting with a Piscean, this is it, okay? They feel very tired, or whatever their moon sign is. Their moon, meaning their heart is tired. They're tired of you, Leo, or you're tired of them. Okay, let me see here. Underneath the Three of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune. We got Oprah. This is actually Oprah. Okay. Because Ten of Pentacles says you get the car. Here, a blessing, meeting the jackpot. This is the jackpot. Told you, you met the one already here. You met the one, Leo. Can be a fixed sign, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, or Scorpio, which I've mentioned already. For some, they would have a moon in their fix in the fixed sign. So they can be have a moon in Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, or Scorpio. Okay? Or you have that as your fixed sign moon. You got me, Leo. Okay. Either or. It applies. And that's an indication in their chart that this is the one. I'm sorry. That's how I interpret. Okay. <laughs> the magician over here. Single. And if you're connecting with a Piscean, ooh, this, this Piscean knows the arts. They don't know the arts yet. But they, I mean, not that they don't know the arts. They know the arts and they practice the arts. <laughs> As above, so below. They can connect with their moon like nobody else can connect. Okay, this is how intuitive this person. Gifted magician with the moon card. Okay, if I get the high priestess, oh my golly. This is someone who's gifted. Gifted by by the moon. I'm not sure why they're gifted by the moon. Okay, so they're getting blessings from the moon. Um, the magician is also, you know, a very Mercurian energy. So it can be a Virgo or a Gemini. They could have a moon in Gemini, a moon in Virgo. Okay. Stop, buddy. Okay. So that's that energy. Okay. All right. So and if you're not if you're not comfortable when my puppies are barking, I do apologize, but they're just being a puppy. Okay. So the magician over here, okay, is indicating that this person is, ex if it's a Gemini or a Pisces, they're experiencing a lot of burden by just being around you or vice versa, okay? But this person also, whoever this is with a Gemini Virgo energy, with uh, connecting to the moon, they're blessed like crazy. They may be tired with you, but their life is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, okay? Because they have the will of fortune. If you don't feel the will of fortune that it's not you, that's the other person's life. They're having a ball. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, it's interchanging. Okay? So, Leos, I'm going to continue this reading. Okay, let me wrap it up for you. There's an engagement. There's a relationship. There is someone who is very much wonderfully amazing that's going to be connected to you. This person can be the one. 
Okay, for someone who's vibing to this. I don't usually use the one, but this is the one. Okay, when I know, I know. Okay, because the chart is very specific. The moon here, the magician and this person's energy. This person feels very much tired that you guys can never connect even just in the romantic side of it. But energies are interchanging. You guys are crossing already, okay? Thank you very much, Leos, for watching. I'm going to continue this read. Have a wonderful first week of July. Bye.